How creepy would it be if I started out every video with like, Hello, and welcome to Keep It Real with Ken Folk. <laughs> Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your man, Kim Folk, and this video is going to be on Project Bluebeam. Now, in Mark 13, 22 through 23, it says, For false Christ and false prophets shall rise, and shall show great wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, for I have foretold you all things. Now, to learn a little bit more about Project Bluebeam, let's check this first clip out. The Morrises are experts in non-lethal weapons technology. They are consultants to the Defense Department, CIA, NSA, and world-renowned think tanks. The technology necessary to project three-dimensional images to a point in space requires no new breakthroughs in science. We have the technology now. Overall, uh, the non-lethal weapons development program is aimed at giving our military options between talking and shooting. A specific system development we really can't talk about. But the Morrises did talk in general about secret military experiments with lifelike 3D projections in the sky called holograms. Holograms on a battlefield would be to divert the attention of the enemy to deliver propaganda or something very frightening to make the enemy run away if you think that he will believe. Now, back in the 2008 elections with Barack Obama and John McCain, they did something special with these elections. Remember this? There are 35 high-definition cameras ringing me uh, in a ring around me. I'm in the center, and they shoot my body at different angles, and I'm told that transmits what looks like an entire body image back there to New York. Uh, these cameras, I'm told, talk to the cameras in New York, so they move, and they know when to move when the cameras in New York move, and uh, it looks a little different from a real person there, but it's pretty remarkable. Yeah! Freaking holograms! Now, this is what they found in Japan. Is this Project Bluebeam? Check this out. ネスコに消えたと言われるあのネシーがなぜか東京湾に出現。お台場の海で暴れるこのネシー、実はこちらウォータースクリーンというもので、特殊機器によって水を大非常に吹き上げ、スクリーンを作り出し、立体的な動画
government UFOs that our government is making. Check this out, and I'll tell you guys my point while I'm getting into the UFOs with Project Bluebeam. Check this out. Getting into the information we have concerning staged UFO events. Now we see from Alex Jones that our government is making UFOs. This is my own theology. This is my own opinion, my own theory. I believe that we're going to have an alien attack, but it's going to be fake. Fallen angels are going to come to Earth and crafts because we know that they're advanced knowledge and affilium. Uh, I believe they're going to come to Earth and say, they're going to quote our Bible, quote from Genesis and say, we made you in our likeness. Get it? We made you in our likeness. God didn't say he made you in his image. That's my own theory. Now, let's look at this guy as a giant green screen because we know in Hollywood they use green screens to create uh, surroundings that are not normally there. Now, from watching the Alex Jones clip, we know that our government is making UFOs. Let's think about our sky as a green screen, satellites as projectors, and they do this. They take the image of the UFO, they put it in their computer, process it up to the satellite, it projects it onto the sky, and then boom, the mass deception. Greetings, citizens of Earth. My people have developed technologies which allow us to throw off our physical forms and travel great distances in the blink of an eye. We are in dialogue with your leaders to help the human race survive its infancy, for we believe in you. We are helping your scientists find cures for diseases which afflict your bodies and helping you to preserve your planet's most precious resources. Many among us wage peace, and one day, with our help, war may be a thing of the past. Our army is a billion strong and growing. Suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet uh, outside in the universe. We'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. Just finishing up, this is the Vatican now, a five-day conference on aliens. Father Jonathan Morris, Fox News contributor, back with us. Father, good morning to you. What a great movie that was. <laughs> it was a wonderful movie. Drew Barrymore and off she went. Uh, did the Vatican find alien life? You know what? It's sensationalistic as that question sounds. It's really not that far off from what we've seen in the news over these last days. The pictures of what might have been Pope Benedict standing on the, the roof of the Sistine Chapel looking for UFOs. That's, a, that's the type of images that this news conjures up. What is exceptional, what is exceptional is that the Vatican was taking very seriously what science might tell us about the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligent life forms. That's what the conference was about. I can't tell you that the Vatican found any alien life. I don't think that's what they were looking for, but they well, were we taking have, very seriously right, the issue. You know the, you know the history, just like we do. I mean, they've come a long way since Galileo four or five hundred years ago. Well, what do you think it says about the church that it's, it, it's actually looking at this issue? Well, a great question, Bill. Uh, what it says is that although there have been some inglorious moments uh, of, of relationship of faith and science, the Vatican, and not just Catholics, Christians in general, they brought 30 of the best scientists, the astrobiologists, of the cosmologists, of the astronomists, to tell the philosophers and the theologians what they already know about the possibility of something that could happen. Now, what they're trying to do is get out of the story, get out ahead and say, what if we were to find life outside of this planet what is that well that's my video rate comment subscribe i appreciate y'all watching i know this video was kind of random but i felt i had to do a video on it um if you don't know who jesus is hit me up uh i'll talk to y'all some scripture i'll pray for you we'll pray together on the phone you can call me i got two phones it don't matter i got my phone back on things are cracking Woo! can't wait um thank you guys i love y'all uh stay updated with me subscribe if you haven't already uh We'll get it done, man. Have a Nagila and our Lord Yeshua Christos. Deuces. Love you guys.